Hello and welcome one and all. My name is Bartholomew Dickens III. Dickens, you say? Why, that sounds like Bartholomew Dickens II. Yes, that was my father. Or you may have heard of my baby brother, Charlie. Famous author, writer of tales. Well, that's not me. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me <laughs> for this night of Christmas tales. Let's get to it. Let's read them. Let's get to the reading. Once upon a time, there was a cast. It's Christmas time at Studio C. So leave your gifts beneath the tree. Bring your giant family. Invite your favorite friends to see. Santa's got a gift for me. Oh dear Santa, what'll it be? Create with me a Yuletide memory. Create with me an everlasting memory. Create with me an everlasting Yuletide memory. Let's laugh and play in moonlight snow. I want to steal a kiss under the mistletoe. Create once more a Yuletide memory. Knock, knock, knock. Mom coming in. It's tucking time for my sweet papal girl. That's me. Tuck, tuck, Mother, please read me a Christmas tale. Okay, fine, Austin <laughs> Williams, my adorable little cuddle bug. Which story would you like to hear? The story of Ebenezer Scrooge. Okay, here it goes, my dear little one. Twas the morning of Christmas. <laughs> I say, what a wondrous morning. <laughs> you there, young man, what day is this? Why, it's Christmas Day, Mr. Scrooge. I haven't missed it. Do you know the butcher, the one with the prize turkey hanging up there? The one as big as me, Mr. Scrooge. That's the one. Go on and buy it, and you'll get a shilling. What? <laughs> Here you go. Wow! <laughs> Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll send it to Bob Cratchit's. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he says. They sold it! <laughs> Excuse me? They sold the big turkey. I mean, it is Christmas Day, sir. Oh, right, yes, of course. Um, well, I kind of had a revelation to be nicer, so I, uh, I don't really want to give that up. <laughs> A goose. A go what? Goo goose? A goose. A ripe, plump goose will do nicely. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's still a bird, even if. You get two sides, sir. <laughs> sides? Two. Oh, I don't. Uh, potatoes and Yorkshire puddings. Yum. Yum. <laughs> oh, Bob Cratchit deserves those extra puddings he does. <laughs> and to drink? Every meal comes with your choice of beverage. Anything. Get anything. Just get it. Just get the puddings. <laughs> if they run out of Yorkshire pudding, they I'm They ran going... out of Yorkshire mm -hmm. pudding! <laughs> Is it not too much to ask for a fully prepared feast to give my employee because I had a revelation to be nicer? <laughs> the spirit told me. Can I have more money? No! You know what? Never mind. Never mind. You, you there, young man. Uh, m m me, Mr. Scrooge? Yes, yes. Me, Mr. Scrooge. Yes. You! Oh, no, you don't. We're in this together now. You, shovel! Oh. Uh, go fetch that goose, boy. Fine. <sighs> Bob Cratchit better love this stupid meal. <laughs> they sold the goose. <sighs> now all they've got left is a quail that was born inside out. It's more expensive. Fine. Go, you filthy urchin! Go! Oh, God. Well, it is Christmas Day, sir. Uh, the boy is right. And the three spirits of last night taught me nothing. All that matters is that Bob Cratchit and his family enjoy a proper meal today. <gasps> That's it. I'll buy the whole store. Yes! He closed up early. <laughs> he closed up early because you couldn't make up your 
mind, sir. The ghost of Christmas blast! Oh! All I wanted was a goose. I would take a turkey. I would eat a pigeon. I would literally grab a pigeon from the air and put it in my mouth. But no, no, you can't do anything, can you? You little snowflake orphan! <laughs> Well, um, I've done everything a rich man can, so, um, bah humbug. Ow! And that little child who helped Scrooge was you. And that's why I'm your favorite, right? Answer carefully, Mama! <laughs> a mother cannot have favorites, but if she could, it would be Dalton. We understand, Mama. <clears throat> oh, no, wait, we're not. As a quick aside to that last story, I, Bartholomew, was never the favorite child. No, no, that belonged to my little brother, Charlie. Charles Dickens the first, and he'll never let me forget it. My goodness, they've come alive. Okay, so Bartholomew, it's hard for us to breathe when you just slam the book shut like that. Oh dear, I apologize. Breathing, yes, of course. Mommy, can we hear another Christmas time story? <laughs> Here's the novelization of the hit investment-based reality television show, Shark Tank. <laughs> Hello, sharks. My name is Tim Brackets, and today I'm seeking $400,000 in exchange for 15% of my company. Let me start with a question. How many of you are parents? <laughs> me too. And how often are you just sitting there with your wife on Christmas Eve, wrapping Tonka trucks until unholy hours of the night? <laughs> And you know that in three hours, your little tykes are gonna wake up and trash the place with your and Santa's wrapping paper. Bless his heart. <laughs> and it's 3 a.m. and the pressure is on and you're sitting there thinking, how did I get here? <laughs> and you're running out of tape and your marriage is hanging by a thread and your life didn't even turn out the way you thought it would, just disappointment after disappointment. <laughs> and you're sitting there thinking, there has got to be a better way. <laughs> That's when I came up with Christmas surprise. <laughs> now, instead of wrapping each individual gift, you simply put these on your little tyke and bring out an unwrapped thing. Then, when the little tyke removes the glasses, Christmas magic ensues. It's clean, it's reusable, and you can use them twice. So what do you say, sharks? Who wants to unwrap their way to millions? It just looks like a pair of glasses wrapped in paper to me. That's mostly exactly right, Damon. My product combines the power of wrapping paper with the power of eyewear to surprise little tykes for Christmas. Do you do this full time? I quit my job about 13 years ago, and I've been doing this full time for nine years. <clears throat> so how are you and your wife now? So what do you say, sharks? Who wants to tear? into the gift of a million dollars situation. Tim, do, do your kids like using these? Uh, yes, Mark Cuban, but only every other Christmas, because that's when they're with me. I, I'm sorry, you got divorced? Oh no, my wife and I are happily married. We just can't do Christmases together because of the pressure. 
So who wants to take the wrapping paper off of their eyes to see us shaking hands on this deal? Okay. Are you okay? Mm. Huh? Like, do you need help? Huh? Tim, I don't think you have a business here. I'm out. I don't know how I would be able to help. I'm out too, okay, buddy? I have no idea what's going on. I'm out. Tim. Instead of buying these glasses, can't you just tell your kids to close their eyes and then open them when you put the gifts in front of them for free? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. That's exactly what you could do. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I sold my used car dealership for this. Tim, you fool. Tim, Tim, hey, it's okay, buddy. No, no. they're useless. Christmas is gonna be such a stress fest this year. Tim, mm -hmm. I think I speak for all of us when I say, you've brought in a terrible product. <laughs> but mm -hmm. we all like you as a person. Do you have any other ideas? Yes, I do have these. The surprise goggles for unwrapping gifts underwater. Congratulations, Tim. I'm in. I think I might be able to help. I'm also in, okay, buddy? I think you have a business here, Tim. I'm in. I know exactly what's going on. I'm Robert. <laughs> and that man that made that invention was you, Garrett Allen. My beautiful red-headed boy. What? I didn't picture Garrett with red hair. No, no, that won't do. Charles was a redhead. Garrett has... Ooh, yes, yes, I know. Garrett has hair that is similar to... No, no, not that, not that. Garrett, yes. My beautiful platinum blonde boy. I'm a little ice prince. Read us another story, Mama. Yeah. Okay, Arvin Mitchell, my pretend son. Did you know not all elves come from the same place? This is the story of an elf that comes from a very special country. Ha la 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 la! Another train down, Billy Cherry. <laughs> Great job, Sprinkles. And Josh is really gonna like this skateboard. And this doll. <laughs> and he's gonna allow this a choo choo train I made. A choo 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 choo. Oh no, Giuseppe, that's just a meatball sub. <laughs> oh boy, I uh, did it again. I made my mother's famous meatball sub instead of a toy. Sometimes I get confused as the only Italian elf in Santa's workshop. It's a culture clash. Ho, 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 those toys nearly ready. Giuseppe, hide the sub. Oh, it's okay, I will eat it. Let's go. My G.I. Jane is done and perfect. <laughs> Another skateboard for Josh. A bike horn for Carla. And uh, how you say a freeze before Rebecca Jorgensen. <gasps> Ultimate. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, no, Giuseppe. That's just a piece of chicken parmesan. <laughs> wow, wow, woo. Where did a mighty frisbee go? You never had a frisbee. Oh boy, I uh, did it again. Just a few moments till we leave. Giuseppe, you better hurry and make another frisbee fast before Santa leaves to deliver presents. <gasps> America? Well, the whole world, but yeah. Oh, America. It has always been a my dream. Ever since organized crime left the no elves in my village, I ran. 
I ran as far as my baby Sicilian alpha legs could run in the hopes of reaching New York, New York, America, USA, OK. So I could start a bodega in the head of the Statue of Liberty. Giuseppe, what year do you think it is? We're at the North Pole. What does it matter? Oh, it's OK. I will eat it. I'm just about ready to leave. Hurry, everyone. We have to finish making the toys. Batter up. I made a baseball for Katie Buzzold. This is just a ball of mozzarella. Oh, boy. I did it again. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Santa! <laughs> it's time for me to hit the road. And by the road, I mean the skies. Your first stop is New York. Oh, please, Santa Claus, take me to America. I wanted to go to the Ellis Island and get my name spelled wrong. Oh, Giuseppe, is that your Christmas wish, to go to America? Oh, yes, more than anything. Oh, oh, then bring your things. Oh, 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 me, Giuseppe, living in New York, New York, America, USA, OK? Oh, oh, Giuseppe, you just poured a whole bowl of sauce onto the children's toys. <laughs> Boy, I did it again. <laughs> and that comically accented little elf was you, Jetta Duriam. Oh. Our precious and precocious Italian elf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, guys, stop! Whoa, okay, you gotta cool it with the roughhousing. It's too much. Oh, mm, terribly sorry. I was thinking of dear sweet baby brother Charlie again. See, we loved horseplay. Yes, we would always play like horses and he would win, and that's another story. Terribly sorry. Well, you gotta figure that stuff out on your own, man. All right, children, all right. It's time for bed. Aww. Please, one more. Just one, please. OK, one more, Naomi Winders, my only adopted child. This next one takes place in an office. Thank you all for coming to our company Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to take a second and recognize our coworker and my personal friend, Eric. Yeah. Um, many of you know Eric for his bright smile. <laughs> but behind that smile, we know there's a guy that's had a really hard year. <sighs> Beyond just the demands of his job, Eric's car got wrecked earlier this year, his insurance wouldn't cover it, and, well, you know the rest. <laughs> it, was re it was really bad, right? <laughs> Thanks, man. It's, uh, it's been tough. We know. And so, in the spirit of Christmas, we decided to pool our resources together and get you something really special. <laughs> and we hope that this little gift will be the key to unlock a much better year for you and steer you, <laughs> steer into happier times for wheel. <laughs> okay. I'll stop toot my own horn here and give you your gift. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you won't be needing gas. Oh. Right? No. Yeah. Yes. yes. You did yeah. not have We to wanted to, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Over that. <laughs> it's a toothbrush. An electric toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to get you something you could use. You got me a toothbrush? Oh, no. No, he doesn't like it. What? No, he loves it. Look at him. He is dumbfounded with joy. <laughs> did, did you guys think that I, like, needed a toothbrush? 
Yes. Yes. Yes, you're very easy to shop for. Yeah. I already have a toothbrush. Uh, okay, an electric toothbrush? Come on. <laughs> What, what did you think you were getting, Eric? I thought you were gonna get me the keys to a car. A, a car? car? What? what? Why would you think that? Y you said I wouldn't need gas. Well, yeah, it's a toothbrush. An electric toothbrush. Wait, no, wh wh why did you say key and unlock and steer and wheel and horn? And spoiler. I don't know, I was just trying something. I think it worked. It Those are all puns about cars! Oh. oh. Oh, you guys. You guys, we made him think he was getting a car. Here, Eric. I want you to have this. It's a $15 Target gift card. It still has 988 on it. Is this is this supposed to make me feel better? Yes. yes. And, and here's a jacket that we got for you. Oh, no. <laughs> he just yeah. took it off. No, your... here, let me get my car keys out of the pocket. <laughs> yeah, and you already got the Target gift card. I, so. I don't want any of these things. <laughs> then what do you want, Eric? All I want is a ride to work so I don't have to walk two miles every day. Oh, okay. You are such a needy roommate. <laughs> And that toothbrush was this toothbrush. And the recipient of that toothbrush was my dear boy with Tourette's, Tanner. I do, I do have Tourette's. Mama, I've not had my fill of stories. Yes, my boy. Okay, one more story, and I promise you it won't be boring. <laughs> Listen closely to my tale. Hope my rhymes don't be bad. Okay, let's just get on with the story, hmm? The Grinch slithered and he slid, and he did all he did so that he could wreak havoc in the house where he hid. To destroy the Who's Christmas will bring me great pleasure. <laughs> then he heard faintly whispered, National treasure! <laughs> huh? said the Grinch as he searched for their presence, for he wished to steal... The Declaration of Independence! <laughs> Nicholas Cage? Said the Grinch, somewhat clueless. Yes, I'm Nick Cage. Now just let me do this. Do what? Asked the Grinch, extremely confused. Steal government treasure from all of the Who's. Well, go somewhere else. To some isle or isthmus. This is my turf. I'm stealing Christmas. Then I'll steal it first. You'll steal Christmas too? I'm sure it will lead me to some other clue. Ugh. There's only toys here. He said with a smack. But how do you know there's no map on the back? <laughs> I'll show you said the Grinch with an unpleasant strut. But all he received was a cruel paper cut. Ow! Wow. Wrapped in a gift, the declaration that is. Now both creatures want it, they both would insist. The Grinch wants the present to ruin this Christmas. And Nick Cage must want it for weird Nicholas Cage business. So they punched, and they scuffled, and they wailed, and they taunted. And Nick Cage, with a headbutt, said, This is what the founders wanted! <laughs> Santa, is that you? Why are you in a rage? My name is not Santa. I'm St. Nicholas. Cage. My name is Cindy. Cindy Lou Who. Go away, Cindy! <laughs> Are you looking for clues? I got up because I was needing a drink, but pour it on the back and let's see what you think. <laughs> There's something on the back. It's just like I said. It was a message, and here's what it read. Stop doing B-movies. <laughs> Now, what does that mean? 
I should be more careful of who I play on screen. And then something happened. Well, in Hollywood, they say that Nick Cage's self-respect grew three sizes that day. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> While Nick Cage was distracted, the Grinch did his deed. He snatched up those papers while Nicholas screamed. I am me! <laughs> That's the whole movie. All those in attendance of how the Grinch stole the Declaration of Independence. Sequel? Don't be greedy, Nick Cage. Goes right. Goes right too. And that Nicholas Cage was you, Dalton. And that's why you're my favorite, Bartholomew. You've always been my favorite, and I've never liked the others. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sweet Prince Bartholomew Dickens the Third. And so ends the Studio C Christmas. Wow, oh, Charles! It was a great string of stories, my brother. You have proven you are the best. You win Christmas, brother. You win Christmas. Oh, oh. this is my greatest wish come true. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>